Thank you, Chairman Good. Thank you, Chairman Perry. You know, I, when I came up here, I thought we had the majority, but it appears that we don't have a majority of fiscally responsible individuals. We're here because just 30 hours ago, the Uniparty put forward a thousand page bill that no one can tell me that they've read before they're going to vote yes on it to spend $1.2 trillion and, and, and we're expected to vote on it in just a couple hours. It's not acceptable. When I first came to Congress, I was warned that this is how this town operates. But I had a glimmer of hope that we had the majority, that we had enough people that were fiscally sane, and that this time it would be different. Unfortunately, it's not different. So here we go again. For the last three years, we've been complaining about all of these things. Republicans who campaigned complained about the border issue. And yet, the actions today refuse to do anything about it, to actually do anything about it. You see, we'll pass bills um, you know, that, that ultimately mean nothing because we know that they're not fully going to pass. They're not going to make it way, their way through the Senate, whether it's H.R. 2, impeaching Mayorkas, the new Lake and Riley resolution. All of these things ultimately are not going to change anything. And yet today, we're going to use our majority, quote unquote majority, to enact no changes whatsoever. We're going to fund it all. Um, the bottom line is that this is a complete and utter surrender, and I won't, I'm going to be a, not only a no, a hell no on this bill. Um, it, it completely ignores the fact that we are at a place that we've never been in the, United, the history of the United States. At $34 trillion in debt, we're at a greater debt to GDP than we were during World War II. And we didn't just finish a war, folks. We're, we're approaching potential World War III across the globe. How is the United States fiscally going to be able to sustain any kind of major conflict when we're not willing to make the cuts that are necessary? So I'm glad to stand with my colleagues here today who are the fiscally responsible parts of the House of Representatives. And I will yield the, the next part of my time to our, my good friend